Welcome to the AES instructional video on updating a subscriber unit. My name is Enrique, AES's corporate trainer, and I'll walk you through the process of updating the AES IntelliNet 2.0 subscriber software. First, a list of items that you will need handy before we begin the process. We will need to know the subscriber ID and the cipher code for the subscriber you are updating, as these will be re-entered once the update is completed. In addition, we will also need to record or write down the current subscriber settings in the Configuration and Accessories tab, located in the subscriber's user interface. It's also helpful to take note of the current status of the subscriber, located on the status screen of the user interface. Take note of the front LED screen. Here you will see the current software version. Plug the USB thumb drive into any of the two USB ports located inside of the subscriber. Once you secure the USB thumb drive into the available slot, press the reset button on the main board of the subscriber and wait for it to boot up. The subscriber's LED screen will light up and read, System Booting Up. Shortly after that, the LED screen will read, Updating System Flash, Please Wait, followed by, System Flash Updated, Remove USB and Reset. Before that appears, I want to stress the importance of not removing the USB when this instructs you to on the screen itself. If you do, the process will fail and you will have to start all over again, even possibly causing the unit to completely fail. This will require that the subscriber be sent into AES for repair. The LED screen will read, System Updating, Please Wait. The process itself will take anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes, so please do not reset the unit until the process is complete. When the LED screen displays Update Complete, Remove USB and Reset, it is now safe to remove the USB thumb drive and reset the subscriber. The unit will reboot with the Powered by AES system booting up message. This time though, it will take longer than usual for it to actually boot up. This is normal and expected. Please let the device finish booting up. This could take as long as 5 minutes, but usually takes less than that. After this update is complete, you will notice the software version on the LED screen has changed to the latest version available. Thank you for watching this video by AES. If you run into any issues during this update or have any questions or concerns, please contact technical support via phone, email, or online.